Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. I can't say it enough, dry your 3D printing filaments. Today we are taking a look at a very interesting new dryer, the Ebos Polyphemus. This is a two-spool filament dryer that doubles as a humidity-controlled dry box. This will not only dry your filaments, but keep it stored at the desired humidity levels indefinitely. And it also has a neat party trick when I press this button. So is the Polyphemus worth picking up for your 3D printing setup? Let's find out. Before we begin, this Polyphemus filament dryer was sent to me for review by Ebos. While they provided the dryer for free, they are not paying me for this review and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using it for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you are interested, you can check out those links and help support my channel. Let's get into it. The Polyphemus is the latest filament dryer by Ebos. This dryer has two main parts, the bottom section with the heaters, rollers, and control panel, as well as this completely removable clear polycarbonate lid. The inside of the dryer has room for two 1kg spools of filaments, although Ebos does sell a lid extension which allows for 3kg spools to fit, if you are into those Chonkers. The base contains the heater and fans, which blow warm air up and around the front and back sides of the spools. This evenly circulates the air, which helps with drying times. The manual says the heater is rated for 130 watts. The spools rest on four independent rollers. Those rollers allow you to use the dryer as a spool holder while printing, with the spools effortlessly unwinding. There are eight spaces where filament can leave the dryer, three in the front, two in the back, and three on the top of the lid. This gives you plenty of flexibility on where you can place the dryer next to your printer and feed it the filaments. I love to see that. Back to the rollers, each of the four rollers are independent, so they can rotate separately. However, this is where the Polyphemus' party trick comes in. Pressing this button at the front turns on the 360 degree rotation mode, which powers those rollers to automatically rotate the spools. That's right, this is a motorized filament dryer. This rotation ensures that the spool is evenly heated, preventing hot spots that could damage the filaments, and it decreases drying times. We can see the effects through this thermal camera. Without rotation, we can see the top of the spool is colder than the bottom. While the air is circulating around the spools, it's not entirely even. However, with rotation enabled, the temperature is much more even. It is a consistent temperature throughout. Moving back to the lid, this clear lid has a handle on top for easy removal. At the back are three filament ports where you can insert the included Bowden tube to use the dryer while printing. They also come with plugs for when they aren't in use. At the front is an adjustable vent. This can be opened while drying to encourage moisture to leave, but closed off when the Polyphemus is being used as a storage box. Before we get to that though, let's look at the controls. The control panel on the front is very easy to use. After turning it on, you can see the drying screen. Here you can see the set temperature, the current relative humidity, the fan speed, the current temperature, and the remaining drying time. There are 12 temperature profiles, with 9 preset material profiles and 3 custom profiles. You can select the menu button and switch between the selected profiles using the arrow buttons. Here are the default settings, but you can adjust the profile for material and it will remember those changes. Drying times seem a little low for me, but that is easy to adjust. You can also switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit if desired. The Polyphemus has a minimum temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and a max temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. The timer ranges from 30 minutes to 24 hours, but you can also clear the timer to set the dryer in an always on mode. Here is also a neat feature of the Polyphemus, the humidity control dry storage. By pressing the on and off button, it enters humidity mode. Here you can set your desired humidity level, and the dryer will turn on and off as needed to maintain that humidity. This allows you to store filament for long periods of time without worrying about it absorbing moisture, or needing to remember to run it through the dryer the next time you want to use it. There are two compartments in the back of the base that holds desiccant packets. This will help keep moisture low, and when the dryer does kick back on, it will dry out those desiccant packs. The Polyphemus does require some assembly. The base is assembled, but you have to build the lid. The instructions are clear, it just takes a few screws to connect all the pieces together. The 3kg extension will also need to be assembled if you purchase that. But overall, the assembly was quick and easy. With the specs out of the way, let's look at drying times. I opened two new rolls of filaments, both are matte PLA filament from Polymaker. I set the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius, turned on the automatic rollers, and let it dry. And here are the drying times. The purple took 6 hours to lose 3 grams of weight, while the red filament took 8 hours to lose 5 grams. There were no signs of overheating of the filaments, and the rotation appears to have done its job of consistently heating the spools. I didn't find any negatives during my testing of the Polyphemus. The rollers did experience some cosmetic wear, but the hard plastic rollers themselves were not damaged. Ebos does include a spare roller motor with the dryer. It is nice to have a spare, 
but it doesn't exactly fill me with confidence that the motor will last over longer periods of use. I did not have any issues during my tests though. Overall, I am very impressed with the EBOS Polyphemus dryer. The automatic rotation is something that I have not seen in any other filament dryer. It does an excellent job at making sure the spools do not overheat in one area, and allows for even drying. It easily accommodates two spools, and I like that the lid can be expanded to hold larger spools. The humidity control mode is also a neat idea. I think I'd still prefer having a separate dry box to store my filaments, but if you are printing with very moisture sensitive filaments like polycarbonate or PVA, then this dryer could be very handy. And the user experience was great. It was easy to learn how the controls worked, and it behaved exactly how I expected it to. The EBOS Polyphemus dryer sells for $130 US dollars at the time of this recording. This is on the more expensive side when it comes to dryers, even accounting for this being a two-spool dryer. However, it is the only dryer on the market that I've seen that has the auto-rotating and humidity-controlled functions. I think the Polyphemus could be a good fit for you if you are constantly printing more humidity-sensitive filaments like PVA, PC, or nylon. You'd want a dryer that can keep the humidity controlled without overheating or damaging the filaments, and the Polyphemus excels in that. However, if you are just wanting to dry out your PLA before you put it into dry storage boxes, then the Polyphemus might be a little overkill. So thank you all for watching my review of the EBOS Polyphemus 2-spool filament dryer. What was your favorite feature of the Polyphemus? Is there something you think it's missing? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are still in the market for 3D printing filament dryers, why not check out my recent review of the Gratkit Firefly. This single spool dryer might be exactly what you are looking for. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.